Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we described about the collaboration services. And as you see, these are kind of eight services possible. And then each of those services, what kind of operation that end user can do, All right? And our goal here is to find out a workload so that we can use that workload to test the performance of this system, All right? And so if you, if you look at this, like uh, let's say, let's consider a normal user, okay? So let's say this normal user, say he comes to office at 8, 8 a.m. in the morning. So what things is going to do? So let's try to uh, take some minute to, to understand that. So probably he is going to first, he's going to do, he's going to log in to the system. Okay. So first operation that he's going to do, he's going to log in to the system. So after logging in, he might be doing some mail operation, right? So let's go back and then let's draw something. This is, let's say this is called the email operation okay and let's say put some number here what is the probability that he is going to do mail operation out of all these eight operations what's the probability that he's going to do the mail operation it's a very good chance that mail is the is the first thing that I, I used to, to check like right? you know what are the mails for me and all those things right so maybe there's a good chance that 65 percentage of time okay he might check the mail application and then in the mail application, he has multiple operations. Like, what is the chance that he is going to read his email? I think probably a good chance that you know, first thing that you logged into a mail application, you see the the new emails that come to you. Okay, let's say there's a good chance that maybe sixty percent of chance that he's going to read a mail, and then he might reply. Okay, and he might then delete some old mail okay and then again whenever he read a mail there may be a good chance that he might get a large mail or he might buy, uh, might have a small mail or he might have a medium mail so what i'm saying large mail is that a mail that is of let's say 100 mb okay a marketing mail from some marketing department with a lot of information 100 mb whereas a small medium mail is that you know his boss might be sending him some some appraisal formation or whatever so that's a medium mail so basically basically what i'm saying here is that whenever it's read he is doing a big operation here small operation here medium kind of operation here okay similarly he can do reply and all those things so we just put all the percentages here let's say 10 percentage of time he probably going to reply and 10 percent of time he's going to delete right so that is all about mail application and let's talk about next thing is calendar application so in case of calendar ap application he might be inviting somebody or he will join in somebody's meeting or he might be just browsing the calendar services most of the time probably he is going to do browsing all right and again like you now we need to put a percentage here let's say 10 percentage of time he is going to go to the calendar application all right and out of his calendar application just say invite maybe he's going to once he's in the calendar application he's most likely most of the time he's going to spend on browsing um, the, the the calendar and maybe five per fifteen percent of time he's going to invite you know uh, invite somebody for a meeting and maybe five percent of time he might join something okay so what i'm putting here is that i am just trying to figure out his navigation pattern i'm just right now i'm just putting some random numbers i will tell you in the later part of this video how to how do i come with that number all right the guy who understand business will tell you all right so what is the user's pattern and then uh, next thing is that this person is probably going to do is going to do going to use is a document management system so this is going to do document so again he might be uploading and browse other people document or he might be deleting a document 10 percent is probability that he is going to look at huge document system and one season document system you know 80 percentage of time he's going to do browse five percentage upload five percentage delete okay and uh, sorry 15 percentage upload and five percentage delete all right and and the, and the last operation probably he's going to do he's going to do project let's say 
So he's going to do project and you know let's put it 15 percentage okay and project he's going to do add a new project or update status of a project or do a delete okay so what i am showing you is this user number ones and his navigation pattern all right and if this is what is happening in the real life then whenever i'm going to write a script or write my test my test should do something like this so let's let's see if this user number one the way it is going let's say another user comes to the system and does his navigation pattern and what i have drawn here in this picture that user number one he is going to do a mail so this is a mail operation okay and then this is this is a document operation and this is a calendar operation and this is a project operation all right so this is the timeline this is a timeline at t is equal to zero they all start user one user two and user three in this system i'm just showing you three users and first is a mail then the document then calendar then two mails then calendar again then project and so on so on and user two he doesn't do anything here that's a just an, uh, he doesn't do he have not started to use just logged in but just sitting for something else and then he started to use at this time at this time he's, he's doing a document so look at like you know and then similarly user 3 he's starting initially he's going to start you know in the first two operation he has done his project and and his pattern is something like this so now this is only three users and as you go on you know user number 100 like you know you will you will generate a lot of different operations so now let's look from the server point of view so how a server you know so wherever like you know all these users are, are connecting connecting to some server and doing some operation and if we draw that server point of view let's say this is a server point of view let's take this window this window this small window here okay so at this window user one let's say basically let's extend this one so that we can come to the server side, server okay so at this time if you if you consider this window in this window of consideration what we are seeing is that we are seeing three document so there's a big there is a big document operation is going on so let's say this is the document this is a document doc and then somebody is doing to mail operation right so then there is mail operation mail and then somebody was doing calendar and one more document so calendar and let's have add one more document so essentially what i'm showing here is that the server load whenever all these things working on a random order like random and you know basically you know in this kind of percentage method is this kind of scenario will happen and that is what we try to exactly simulate we do not want to simulate all the time all mail operations are going on that is not realistic and that's never happened right you know whenever you are you know whenever you have different users different users will do different you know different things at different time all right so therefore a lot of time people make a mistake while designing the workload that workload is going to at, at the end of the day instead of randomizing everything it's probably going to do a lot of email at a time and then it will do a lot of calendar at a time that is completely wrong that that is not that is not really a good way to design your workload all right and then the important question that why do i put 65 10 10 and 15 so this is again you learn from your business user this is how you learn like you know it's a for example like you know you have an existing system and you are just enhancing those things then you know from the from the server log you can find out what is the what is the distribution what is the distribution of the scenarios how much time of they're doing mail how much time they're doing doc if this is a completely new new system then there is also ways that you can do say for example you just you just you know you you, you do a beta release in that beta release you you invite maybe 100 of 100 100 users to user system and then by looking at the server log file you can determine how people are using your system okay so that will is and in that is the case for a completely new application where you don't have any idea you know how people are going to use and also a lot of time you learn you know you modify your workload 
based on the previous knowledge. So that is the reason that why I put this number and these are parameters of this workload. And these parameters of this workload can be changed by a configuration file. And then I'll show you whenever I'm going to create a load, a load test script, I'll show you how easy are these things to change. Okay, so you change something, then you run, and you learn something, and then you iterate again. Okay, so this is how a workload is designed, and this is what is you understand from the server perspective and different user scenario. Thank you very much.